As he's walked towards me and like done something, he's like tried to swipe his arm at me. So where's it gone? His hand I picked that up and just went whack right off his head. And a Liverpool mercy side. Ready? Sleep, kid. We landed at the hotel, lad. We've stayed in this hotel before with Cage Warriors. We're in London, then. We're in fucking London. Stop. I'm trying to do something. I can't let you get close. <laughs> 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 Remember me doing this last time, lad? My signet, I didn't, I still had me like. Long signature. Yeah, it was hard work. Patrick Pimblet. No, lad, my wrist signs, you know, like this. As I say, now that it's just three letters, it makes my life so much easier. Last one. What's You lizard. Lovely. Sam, lad, as you know, lad, I'm used to all this. This is nothing for me. I'm great in front of a camera. You know that better than anyone. There it was, lad. I just finished my first bit of media. Picked my food up after UFC people, so I went. I want to go and warm this up. Warm the eggs up. Went downstairs. Warm the eggs up. And then... It all unfolded. <laughs> It's hilarious because he posted that video to make himself look good and he looks like an absolute idiot. He's like clowned himself and his team, especially that one that walks over, tries to walk around and then goes, shit, I fucked up here. I fucked up. He come over on the bounce lad with all of his mates while I was stood there on my own and did nothing. If he really wanted to fight with me, he would have, see the way there's a table there, he would have walked around the table and fought me, but he didn't want to. He just wanted to make it look like a scene and try and gain some followers off my name. So. We'll leave Mr. Hand Sanitizer to, to it, lad. I'm, uh, I'm not going to concern myself with him, lad. He can worry about me. I'm in his head, and it's going to be funny when he gets knocked out on Saturday night. Look, lad, all my eggs are everywhere. Yeah, little, little bitches, lad. 6v1, and he never done nothing. 6v1, lad. And he never done nothing. All he done was get me eggs all over the gaff, lad. The little bitch. Never done a single thing, little fart. People think I'm gonna be scared of him, lad. There was six of them and they got laughed at, got terrorised, the gang of mings. I'm just glad I've got me eggs. So as I was asked about when he fucking pushed the table, lad, and like, he knocked the eggs. He's fucking starving, lad. Mark Zuckerberg is a lizard, mate. I think everyone knows that by now, anyway. That man is a lizard. The biggest bully on the planet. Biggest troll on earth. Let people say what they want on the internet and to get away with it, come on. No, please, not today. A little bit of makeup, make yourself look presentable. Make sure you bring his cheeks out. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're sticking out enough as it is with the bones. Is it raining? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's raining, you might be able to come outside because your makeup runs. Yeah. I don't know have that. them problems. <laughs> to the game, man. Nice, that. Mentioned it in my last fight, like, so. <laughs> Mentioned it in the cage after my last fight. You best get me in the game next week. It only took six months. <laughs> this is the best fight card London's ever seen, by far. The talent on this card, top to bottom, is absolutely brilliant. And it's, it's a great night for me to showcase my skills and get a performance of the night bonus. I, I told, uh, like, I told Aspen all this, and I'll tell Patty this. Like, I'm looking forward to the walkouts as much as the fight, you know? The, the, the atmosphere is just going to be... So good for this one. Do you want me to clip it or do you want me to put it underneath? Yeah, I'll put it underneath, lad. I'm used to all this mic stuff now. Yeah, but you're not you're not the official headliner, but you you come in feeling like you're headlining this card? I'm the people's main event, lad. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I know that. Uh, I think everyone knows that by the 
the way everyone's talking online and in person. And you will see that at the official way in at the well, the ceremonial way in. You will see that when I get the loudest cheer out of everyone. <laughs> Uh, good, good feelings this week. I mean, did you dream that this would one day happen for you? That you'd be fighting in London, the O2, such a prominent place on the card. Yeah, I knew this would happen. No, what just before we get started? Is there any reporters from the Sun in here? Don't dare ask me a question. Don't put me in that rag of a newspaper. Just thought I'd get that in. Yeah. End of. Um, but yeah, I knew this was going to happen, man. Knew this was coming. I've envisioned all this, lad. I can't wait to get my hand raised on Saturday and. When there's pandemonium in the crowd, it's gonna be fantastic. And there was a point, like as strong as your belief is now, in 2016, I believe it was maybe 2017, around the Sarum back fight when that when we didn't know if this moment would ever happen, we didn't know if your you know if your future actually involved fighting. Do you ever think about those moments and how far you've actually come since then and what you've had to fight through to get to this moment? Yeah, I do think back at that moment to realise like what I've actually come through to get here. A lot of people think, oh, it's just a fight and it's mad, lad. Some people who've only watched UFC think I'm a striker. I'm far from it. But I've been fighting since I was 16 and fighting professional since I was 17. You know what I mean? I became a world champion on Cage Warriors at the age of 21 when I wasn't taking that seriously. I was still out partying two nights a weekend, having two hours sleep and then going to the gym on a Monday morning. It's mad when I look back now because I think, oh, I wish I wouldn't have lost them fights, especially like the back one where they had them in the rear and they could choke and my right hand was cabbaged, so I couldn't finish the choke. If I would have had the other arm on, but he would have went to sleep. But when I look back now, it's a good job I lost that fight because I had to go through them tough times. I had proper battles with mental health and depression and was waking up crying every morning, going to bed crying. And then I had to come through the other side of that to realise the opportunities I had. And without them tough times, I wouldn't be where I am to this now, this day. It's that, it's that simple. Look at this. So I'll wait for you. Anyone else want one? <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to pop ourselves into this room here. Might give Kazula one, I've got one left. Oh, these are, these are quality, man. Get a picture with them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Come then. Spot the difference. Yeah. <laughs> Well, lad, this little workout room, Sam, we've been getting some sessions in, and I'm on the Wednesday, and I'm still full of energy, lad. Still got loads of energy, still feel great. I just can't wait to fight, lad. It's starting to annoy me now, to be honest, like, sitting around waiting to fight. Another 20, another 43 hours, I mean, 45 hours to weigh in. Once you've weighed in, we can have a nice scoff, and then it's the fun part then, lad. We can worry about punching this crab's head in. Oh, yeah, I've been told Vargas as well. Uh, he needs to say something, doesn't he? He can't say much because he can't even speak English. But he's meant to have said um, that I'm overrated and I'm a child. Well, I'm, I'm half a child compared to you, you old bastard. But uh, we'll see if I'm overrated on Saturday night, won't we, Vargas? We'll see, Rodrigo, when you're the one on the canvas tapping or unconscious. Going to where the after party is, like going to talk the social, going to watch the Liverpool Arsenal game. Um, we've got a little private room in there for us to watch it. And they have all interactive games, which keeps your mind off, the, off not eating no food and you can burn a few calories while you do it. Oh. Is it is Aaron today saying I'm not, I haven't, I haven't been angry in ages? What are you on about? Let's see, let's see today. tonight. Let's see tonight. Hey. Get away from me. What do you want? Because you, do you want to make Saturday do you? <laughs> Do you want to make Sassy do you? Yeah. We'll all go beginner first here. Yeah, it's been the name, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah.
2 0. There we go. But boom. It's the best in the world. He's Bobby Firmino. I know I'm banana. Give the ball and he's gone every time. Si, senor. Give the ball to Bobby and he will score. I think there's something I want you to know. It's the best in the world. It's Bobby Firmino. I know I'm banana. Give him the ball and he'll score every time. Si, <laughs> Get the ball, so Bobby and he was score. Burning some calories there, mate. Something that the cop wants you. Boom! So I bleed him. Soup's doing the voice. Here he goes. There he is. Yes, the film. How are we boys? Bad, the mighty Reds are just double heavy. I can see, he's, he's just sitting there like that, like fuck off Paddy. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> fuck you. I love your troops lad, come on. One behind City, one behind City. Still gotta play them in their own backyard and we'll slap them there. No one even goes their ground. No one cares about City. We're gonna do them. We're gonna win the league. Get on me, Udi. Sick pastel, Udi. If you're in America, get on the pastel sports book. Yeah, get on there. Get a get a one on me, and it's coming in, and you get a free Udi. Can't go wrong. And a Liverpool Merseyside ready sleep kid.